The movie starts off when the radar of the aircraft carrier USS Enterprise, CVN-65, makes contact with a MiG fighter that is operating in the area of the Persian Gulf. The ship is on patrol in that region. The Enterprise's combat air patrol is being directed toward the approaching aircraft, and the jets that will be engaging it are F-14 Tomcat interceptors. These fighters are each crewed by a pilot and a radar intercept officer, Rio, who are referred to collectively as interceptors. The pilot of the lead plane is Flight Lieutenant Peter Maverick Mitchell, whose call sign is suitable for his arrogant rule-bending attitude. His Rio is Lieutenant Nicholas Goose Bradshaw. Bill Cougar Cortell is the pilot of the second F-14, with Sam Merlin Wells serving as the Rio. After separating from one another, the two F-14s are taken aback by the sudden appearance of a second MiG that was able to avoid being detected by the radar by staying within a few feet of its leader. While Maverick sets his missile radar on MiG-2, Cougar is easily outmaneuvered by MiG-1. Meanwhile, Cougar's counterpart, MiG-2, quickly disengages. MiG-1 stays on Cougar and is only driven off when Maverick flies upside down, closes in on the MiG, and makes an offensive gesture to the opposing pilot. Maverick, who was short on fuel and against instructions, was forced to abandon his own landing and guide Cougar to the deck as the MiG disengaged and the two Tomcats flew to the Enterprise. However, Cougar was so shaken up that he was unable to land due to the fact that he was unable to land. After seeing the captain of the Enterprise, Tom Stinger Jordan, Cougar surrenders his wings. The encounter has left Cougar shaken, and he believes that he is no longer able to fly combat missions. Stinger is forced to change the disciplinary action he had planned to take against Maverick because he needs to send a Tomcat tandem for additional combat training at the Navy's Fighter Weapons School in Miramar, which is located near San Diego, California and the captain is plainly disgusted that Maverick is the only qualified candidate for the assignment. Maverick, on the other hand, is ecstatic in his own way since he sees this mission as a chance to go up in the ranks. Upon their arrival, Maverick and his fellow Tomcat pilot, Lt. Tom Iceman Kazansky, and his Rio, Ron Slider Kerner, establish a competition with one another. Maverick spots Charlotte Blackwood, a lovely young blonde wearing jeans, the night after their first day at the school. He decides to make a move on her by following her into the ladies' room and serenading her there. It does not appear to work until the next day, when she shows up at the school and reveals that her name is Charlie. Charlie was a previously unknown DoD flying instructor, and Maverick had thought that she was a guy. In spite of the fact that she is a civilian, she has mastered the flight simulator to such a degree that she has defeated numerous genuine pilots. Even before the beginning of the real tournament, she finds herself growing increasingly infatuated with Maverick. Maverick engages the school's resident enemy pilot, LTC Richard Jester Heatherly, in his first exercise. He is successful in outmaneuvering him and shooting him down but in doing so he flies below a set minimum engagement altitude, a hard deck. He then compounds this faux pas by buzzing, or overflying, a flight tower at absurdly low altitude just to show off. Maverick and Goose sit quietly in the background as Jester and their commanding officer, Commander Michael Viper Metcalf, are reprimanded by the commanding officer of the control tower. Maverick and Goose both listen to this exchange. Maverick is resolute in his refusal to change, even after Jester calls him into his office and warns that he would be kicked out of the academy if he does not change his unsafe attitude. Iceman is also critical of Maverick for his unsafe demeanor. Maverick, however, does not care about this criticism. Metcalf, on the other hand, is familiar with Maverick due to the fact that Maverick's father flew alongside him in Vietnam off the USS Oriskany, CVA-34, and that Maverick's father was killed when he engaged the enemy in neutral airspace. The battle between Maverick and Iceman continues, later on, 
During another practice, Viper and Jester team up to compete against Maverick and another F-14 pilot named Hollywood. Hollywood gets shot down, and subsequently Maverick suffers the same fate as Hollywood as a result of Maverick's violation of a cardinal rule by deserting his wingman in order to pursue Viper. Maverick is teamed up with Iceman, and Maverick is furious with Iceman for taking too long to attack an enemy craft. Maverick takes the shot, but when the two aircraft get close, the backwash from Iceman's thrusters cripple Maverick's engines and the F-14 dives toward the water. But the worst is yet to come, because Maverick is determined to win the school contest, and he yells at Iceman in a fit of rage. Goose just about manages in jerking open the emergency ejection handles, but as the fighter's canopy pops open, the two pilots eject, and Goose crashes through the canopy, resulting in his death. Maverick's self-assurance is shattered as a result of the death of Goose, and despite the fact that an investigation exonerates him of any culpability, he is nevertheless traumatized by the event. In spite of this, he is successful in completing the course and is reassigned to the Enterprise. It is on this ship that an incident involving hostile MiGs leads to a conflict that will forever involve Iceman and Maverick. Iceman and Hollywood are both launched in an attempt to intercept a pair of MiGs, However, they are quickly overtaken by four additional hostile aircraft. When Maverick is finally launched, Hollywood has been destroyed, and Iceman is trapped in an impossible situation. Maverick now has Merlin as his Rio. Maverick arrives at the scene of the battle, but he is surrounded by hostile forces. When he flies into the jet wash of one ship, his own fighter briefly stalls out, and though he regains control, he has a flashback to Goose's death and breaks off, leaving Iceman trapped as Merlin desperately and angrily yells at Maverick to get back into the fight. Maverick is able to get himself together and returns to aid Iceman. Together, they are successful in destroying four MiGs, which forces the remaining squadron to withdraw. As a direct consequence of this, Maverick and Iceman have succeeded in developing their friendship. Maverick has earned the right to select his own mission as a reward for his bravery, and he is being given the option to do so. He has settled on the decision to work as a teacher at Top Gun. He shows that he has accepted his friends passing by throwing Goose's dog tags into the water as a symbol that he has moved on. Please support me with that like button and subscribing if you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out and will give you all future video release updates. As always, thank you so much for watching, stay safe and God bless.